Listen about the future in the IEA of you know, radiology uh, from the Professor Dr. Curtis Landlaw from the uh, Stanford University of the uh, We will have a question and answer uh, in the panel discussion later. And uh, right now, I'd like to introduce um, the next speaker, Professor Dr. Cheng Ming Kuan from Vietnam. Uh, we present the application of the IEA in the healthcare. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, it's a great honor to be here uh, to talk about the latest technology uh, that bring you to the next level of radiology. So, so far in the previous section, uh, we have discussed like uh, what to be done. So, uh, in this section, so I'll be happy to share how to get uh, those things done with the latex technology in uh, with NVIDIA. So, uh, my name is Quan. So, I'm a senior developer technology in uh, NVIDIA Vietnam. And today, I'm going to present the uh, uh, toolkit, the open framework that NVIDIA provides for developers uh, in over the world to develop the next generation of uh, radiologist uh, technology. So, let's get started. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, one of the core toolkit in uh, NVIDIA Clara SDK and uh, the, uh, the core objective that uh, solving the six workflow in uh, radiology. And uh, I'll talk about the feature as well as the functionality and how can we get started with those uh, SDK. And, uh, yeah, and I'll conclude my talk after that uh, with the question answering SDN. So uh, MONAI is the standing for uh, Medical Open Network for AI, uh, uh, which means the Medical Open Network for Artificial Intelligence. So uh, networks in here is just the neural network. So we talked about the, uh, how to uh, leverage the bio-inspired perceptron in uh, uh, machine learning to do the uh, complex job by dividing the job into like sub several simple jobs so that we can solve gradually with the uh, gradient descent. So as you can see that uh, Monai uh, have uh, provided you uh, the key solution for six workflow, including the generating synthetic data, uh, AI-assisted uh, annotation, uh, training the 3D segmentation model, so on and so forth. So the first one is about how to leverage uh, Gen AI to uh, generate more and more data. So we try to build the big data set and we try to leverage the uh, key uh, um, connection between the te medical text and medical imaging. And that's why uh, we come with the Gen AI in uh, medical imaging. So uh, um, the basic block of the Gen AI is uh, uh, two components. So the so-called the UNEP published by uh, Dr. Ronan Bird in Mikai 2015, and The Transformer, so published by uh, Google team in 2017. So those two basic uh, building blocks will help us to connect the knowledge between the text base and the image base together so that we can form the uh, Gen AI methodology and generate the data. So with the uh, image that generated from our workflow, so you can freely distribute the material for educational purpose, so which means the next generation of the doctor or medical doctor can freely access the knowledge from the 
image base. So without considering like uh, who is the uh, the author of uh, the image, so that's uh, elevate the learning curve to the next level, and. Uh, so the next workflow is the AI-assisted uh, annotation. So as you already know that when we uh, work with the medical doctor, so doctor usually pay attention to uh, the organs or the, 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 the disease that uh, lay, into, uh, lay in uh, on the image. So we provide uh, the um, workflow to uh, assist the doctor to annotate uh, whether this is the in the DICOM format or it is in the like nifty format so it's have the doctor to quantify the segmentation and after that can uh, give the final decision so it has been uh, packaged into the plugin and the API microservice and integrated with uh, many like common viewers including like uh, 3D slicer, including uh, QPAD for pathology imaging and the endoscopy image. So um, for the like uh, open uh, open health imaging foundation or HIP viewer, so we also have the plugin to the uh, the viewer can render the image directly on the website. As well as we are working with like uh, many like big company like Kitware and uh, other like community uh, tools toolkit like CVAS, so computer vision uh, annotation tool, so that it can freely distribute it and you can integrate on uh, 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 the tool that you desire to work with. So the third workflow is the way that we quantify the process of training the 2D or 3D segmentation. So uh, the uh, developer can jump into like uh, the uh, curated data set to have uh, short uh, to shorten the time of training uh, their models so as you can see that it's improved the uh, productivity of the uh, image understanding after fully uh, go through it, going through the segmentation so with the the first three workflow, Nvidia has won several challenges uh, in the top conference uh, in medical imaging, including ISB and Mikai. So you can see that uh, we won the kidney segmentation uh, first place, the uh, arthritic arthur tree segmentation, MRI segmentation, and 3D ultrasound segmentation. So uh, this has been proven that if we leverage the already uh, build pipeline or toolkit so you will like develop on your own purpose and study uh, plan. So the fourth workflow we focus on is the federa uh, federated uh, training. So uh, nowadays uh, the healthcare data is like very sensitive and we don't want the data uh, going outside the hospital size. So that's why we developed the federated learning. We uh, install the uh, machine or appliance on site in the hospital so that uh, uh, when we distribute the neural network across multiple sites, we, the data just come into that appliance and we train the neural network on that appliance. So which means the data will not be going outside the hospital side. We just take the gradient or the uh, neural network weight back to the uh, orchestration and so that uh, it will diversify and uh, generalize the model after the training. For example, if we want to uh, generalize the, the problem of training across multiple cities, so we can set up this workflow and uh, we can collect the achievement later. So training AI models is uh, complex. So we simplify the step by step, and uh, it can be uh, broken down into like several modules that you could, uh, can see here. So it have the uh, Monai course, Monai label, uh, Monai deploy app SDK, and Monai application package. So each module I will present like in detail later. So as you can. Uh, uh, already see that uh, the uh, map Monai application package have you to deploy or patch everything so that it 
will be ready to be installed in your local hospital or in your like uh, university hospital. So the next one I'm gonna present is the functionality and the feature of Monai. Uh, so we divided in three phases. So for the model development, so we collect the data, curate the data. So Monai label have you to clean the data as well as the annotation uh, of the data, and then. Uh, uh, after training, so we can pack everything. It can be installed anywhere. It can be installed on the cloud services or installed on the on-prem uh, machine in your local uh, hospital or even can be installed on the S device. So uh, several like device, medical devices require uh, special treatment of the installation. So we provide the uh, protocol to, doing, to do that as well. So this is the overview of the Monai stack. Uh, you can see that uh, we provide several tutorials, uh, including the uh, classification, segmentation, registration across multi-modality. And uh, in the modern core, so we implement the basic, uh, very uh, intensive basic uh, image format I.O. for you. For example, uh, DICOM stack or the Nifty, so that uh, when we translate the pixel uh, coordinate to the like image coordinate, it will maintain uh, the physical uh, behavior of the image as well as the orientation of the image. So we test this Monai workflow across uh, multimodality, including the MRI, CT, pathology, X-ray, endoscopy, and uh, for across multitask of the application, including the segmentation, detection, uh, classification, registration, as well as reconstruction. So reconstruction means so several uh, data that from the scanner is, is not available in the image format yet. For example, in CT, we have like a sinogram. So we have to perform like filter back projection to reconstruct that. So in some cases, so uh, several metal artifacts or like ill problem uh, occur because we don't collect enough view. So we have to leverage the power of AI to reconstruct those images. Same thing with MRI reconstruction. So the data is represented on the case pay format. So we have to perform like inverse Fourier transform uh, to reconstruct the MRI. So sometime, uh, the case pay collected uh, are not like uh, in like enough like information, so we have to perform the regularization to do like inverse uh, inverse uh, reconstruction of the MRI data. And I already said so. Monai label can be installed on prem, so which means you can install on the separate uh, machine, and uh, your application like workstation application can call that API or call that inference microservice. So like in uh, radiology, you can leverage the power of uh, 3D slicer. In pathology, uh, we can use QPath. And in endoscopy, so we can use CVAP to annotate uh, your data to have like uh, further analysis. And uh, this is the workflow of Monai Core. So it's robust and by work we design the core of the Monai uh, compatibility, compatible with like TensorFlow and then PyTorch, like two famous uh, library that used to train the neural networks in this day. And once the model has been trained, so we can use the, the trained model, we design the reference flow, reference architect, so that you can deploy the trained model on uh, device uh, or on on-prem uh, services in your hospital. So let's get started with Monai. So as I already said, so it uh, can be installed anywhere, can run anywhere, uh, especially on the DZX machine. Uh, or even on the DJ Cloud. So we provide the Cloud first uh, experience so that uh, uh, for the first hand, we don't need to like, invest a lot of money for uh, like uh, infrastructure. So can, we can experience the high performance computing uh, with AI services in DJ Cloud. And 
if you go through the like uh, how to install, it's a Python based, so it can be like easily installed. And uh, we have several tutorial as well as the workshop has been organized in previous year of Mikai, so we can follow that and then find the appropriate uh, solution workflow that match your problem. So we are open source. Uh, we are open sourcing everything so that uh, all of the developer in the world can start without hesitation. So I will skip the uh, uh, enterprise support, which means uh, if you like purchase the DZX, so you will have like 24 per seven uh, support from the uh, high experience uh, uh, engineer from our team. But uh, with that, I will conclude my talk in here. So I would love to have any question. Uh, or I will take that offline. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trần Minh Quân, for your very interesting uh, presentation.